guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're going to break down this James Taylor classic. And this was brought to you uh, by the support from my patrons at Patreon. Uh, they take a poll and get to pick, you know, one of the next songs I'm going to teach. Uh, so you can check that out in the link below. And that's, uh, you know, support I really, really appreciate. And uh, let's break this down. All right, so there's a little intro. And we're going to go through a lot of these chords first. And then I'm going to give you the finger picking on the intro and then other uh, elements of that intro that, that you can then improvise your finger picking throughout the song. So we're gonna do a D chord, and this is the intro. And then a G chord, and I'm using ring and pinky, third on the B, third on the high E. Index down to the second fret. And then E minor while I'm holding that. And then A7, holding that makes it A7 sus4. So look again, the intro. And then for that A7, you gotta make sure you hit the A string. Now when you put the right hand into it, but the left hand, boom, ba, 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 ba. Okay, so G string individually, I'm using my right index. Then I'm pinching the whole D chord, so D, G, B, and high E strings, and I'm hammering that second fret high E. And by the way, the capo's on the second fret. Like that. And that's a James Taylorism. So this intro, G, the whole chord with the second fret hammer. Next, you're gonna hit the G string, then the B string. And I'm using my index and middle finger. So next, as we transition to the G chord, I'm hitting the D and G string with my thumb and index. So. And my ring finger's staying there because I'm gonna, I'm doing the transition to the G chord. So from the top. And when we get to the G, we pinch the low E and the high E, and I'm using my thumb and ring finger. So. Then the B string with the middle finger. So. And then remember that goes down, so watch this. And when I hit that, I'm going to hit the open G with that at the same time. It's dissident when you hear it slow, but as a walking movement, it sounds good. All right, so from the top, we have D, G, pinch, B string. That goes to the second fret, fret of the E, and you pinch the G with it. So, and right after you do that second fret and the G string pinch, you go back to that B string and my ring finger is there. So, then that index finger comes off and you're gonna hit the open E with the high E. So. Now, you're not even hitting that string, but I'm thinking of an E minor seven. So I'm holding the whole chord. 
even if you don't hit it, but if you're holding the whole chord and you're not a good finger picker yet, you can still strum this song as well. So that, then I'm going G, B. Then E, G. So, then I move that index finger over, so now this is an A7 sus4, and you're pinching the A string and the high E. So, from the walk down on the G. Back to the G, B, and in this intro, you do it twice. The good news is, all of this applies to now the singing parts of the song. This is all in the song. But the intro... GB, GB, one more time slow. forget E, G, A. Like that. So now I want to get uh, through the chords. So it's all those finger picking things we did are, are going to apply, but let's get to the chords. So into D, G, walk down to E minor, just like the intro. But instead of that A7 sus4, I'm going to go to a regular A major. So watch. See that? And the picking, like the intro, is going to apply. But instead of that A7 sus4, you have this move. I didn't play right there in the in the uh, intro, but there it is. So I played everything like the intro, but when I got to the A, I did and what I did there was the open A, and then I hit its octave on that G string with my index finger. And then the high E string. So we're, we're skipping strings. Then back to that G string, so. Then I'm grabbing down and pinching the whole chord. Starting on that A, D, G, and B. Pinching together and hammering on that second fret B string. So watch. Uh, like the intro into that move now and there's going to be times if you, you at least when I was hearing the original studio recording there's times where he's playing G and the open B is in there and then like in the intro there's times where it's the third fret um, so on this next part I recommend the G with the open B in there so watch uh, Regular G, don't worry about the picking, and then the A with a different hammer on there, but you could even do the same one. But he varies those, and he also varies uh, the way he does the D chord. But it's always that sus4 and open string with the A and the D. It's his trademark. So from the uh, from the vocals, uh, so now 
Now regular G and A. Now E minor seven to A. So, uh, let's see. G, 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 A chord, but da -da, E minor 7 to A chord. Now we do a walk down from D, then a walk down from G, and it's pretty. So, D, and think of it this way I pinch the whole chord, and then I'm going back to the the pinch of the upper register chord. Think the, the G and B string. You can do all three or two. And then you gotta grab the, while you're holding that D, grab that fourth fret A, so we're walking down. Then index comes off and I grab second fret. Then open A and I just flatten it. It goes by so fast that, I mean, theoretically, you know, but it's going by so fast, you really just need the root notes with that D chord. It's real pretty. And if you do a finger a pattern, which you don't have to, etc. there's cool things you can do. Pinch, pinch, da da, pinch, da da. But so you got D, fourth fret, second fret, open A, and then check this out. And that can be picked out too, but we got to get the chords. It's G, D over F sharp, E7, not E minor 7. And so that means first fret on that G string, second fret on the A. So check it out. Um, A7. So let's see, from the top of the verse. Regular A, regular G, and the A, E minor seven, A. Walk down from D. Walk down E minor 7, A major, G regular to A major, E minor 7 to A major, D walk down 2nd, A, G, D, E7, A7, D, B minor, E minor 7, A, D. So that going da 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 D. B minor, but if you're holding this upper register of D like that, then grab your pinky down and pinch the open E instead to E minor 7. So, sorry. Scoot it over for A. Or a regular A major. Now from the intro. Regular A, G, E minor seven to A, walk down D.
So, uh, D, a D, da, 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 D, B, E minor, A, D. And on that, there's another D move here. So think of like the whole chord. The whole chord, then the G, G, G string by itself. Then the B and high E together as you're holding it with the middle finger off. Uh, open, down, open. So watch. Back to the G string. And after you go, you go back to the full chord. Pinch, da da, pinch, da da, you can do for the. Uh, so I'm pinching the E and B, D, G. And so on that A7, I'm playing A7 there. You can play a regular A major or A7, but just make sure that that thumb goes over to the A string for that. Now let's go through the chords of the verse, is what we could call this. So D, C at nine, G major, A7 with A sharp, E minor, G to A with some nice, Over F sharp, B minor, E7, E minor 7, A7, the turnaround. So D, C at 9, D, C at 9, then the G, G, and here's the move A7, A sharp diminished, B minor, but really what's going on is you have an A7. And then you add that tension note to a B minor. So, so from that verse again, D, C at nine, G, A7, A sharp, B minor, a regular G and A. Guys on the da, na, 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 na. You know, here's this little kind of final part as it goes back to the chorus. The G, D over F sharp, and then on da, da, na, na. and that's going to be B minor to E7, and then that E7 becomes E minor 7 to A7. So check it out. And for the E minor seven, I'm not playing the high E, I'm just playing that second fret A string, third fret B to A seven. So check it out. D, C, A, 
add nine. G, A, A sharp, B minor. G, A. G to D over F sharp, B minor, E7, E minor 7, A7, D, B, E, A, D. Now, if you're just wanting to play the song, you got a D, G, walk down to E minor 7 to A, G to A chord, E minor 7 to A chord, D, walk down with a friend of mine, A, G, walk down, E7, A7, D, B, E minor, A, D. C add 9, G, A7, A sharp, B minor, G, A, G, D over F sharp, B minor, E7, E minor 7, A7, D, B, E, A, D. All right, the bridge chords. A, B minor, but F sharp minor, E minor, up to G, then A, and it's C. Now we've kind of, you know, pushed it into another realm here, but once again, bridge, we're working on that. G, A, B minor, F sharp minor, E minor, G, A, and it's C, and it's C, G to D chord, you must C, second fret A, E minor, A7, if I'm up and D, B, E, A, D. Now we're back into the end part of the chorus. Something important that I haven't pointed out yet, um, I should have earlier, is when it becomes the chorus later, it's D, 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 G, walk down straight to A. All that other stuff's the same. So, in my mind, I'm going to carry A chord. Then the G to A chord. Uh, sorry, E minor to A chord, walking down from the D, walking from the G, D, B, E, A7, or A, D. And that'll get you there. All right, thanks again, you guys. Really appreciate your uh, support, uh, especially my patrons at Patreon who brought you this lesson. Check that link below. Thanks again. Hope to see you later. Take care.